Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check out Sight Word SWAT from Learning Resources. This is for one to four players, ages five plus. It'll take about five, ten minutes to play. And in Sight Word SWAT, you are going to get a fly swatter and you are going to be swatting uh, sight words in order to hopefully build up your vocabulary and learn how to smell. spell. It's a very simple children's slash educational game, but is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. All right, then we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Sight Word SWAT. So first and foremost, we're going to handy dandy rule booklet. It's all text, but it's all fairness. You're just going to need this little part right here. And this is actually alternate play. So you're just going to need this. Super simple. I can teach you how to play right now. So in Sight Word SWAT, everybody's going to get a fly swatter, which is actually a pretty decent plastic fly swatter. And then someone is going to call out a sight word. Generally, a moderator, a third party who's not playing is going to call out a sight word. And then everyone is going to try and swat it as fast as they can. If they get it correct, then they get to keep the fly. And whoever has the most flies at the end of the game will win. It's just that simple. Uh, one, one alternate rule that you can do as well if you don't want anyone to not be out of the game and you have three or four is to take turns calling out a word and then the other people will compete for said words. Someone might say red and then boom, yellow gets it. They get the fly and they put it in front of them. Now, I do want to note that the components are very nice, very sturdy, thick. These are very nicely done. And you're going to get tons of these, which will actually come in different grade levels as well, which is actually kind of ingenious. They're double-sided. So, huge thumbs up on the components. But I'll talk more about that in pros and cons. But that's what you get inside a sight word swat. All right, then, sight word SWAT from Educational Insights. What are my final thoughts? Let's go with the pros, let's go with the cons. First, on the con side, one to four players, even though you can easily remedy that just by using your hand or a pencil or a real fly swatter or anything, really. So ignore the player count. Another con that I have with this game, and it's a pretty simple one. This is a sight word game. This is more of an educational experience to help children learn their sight words. So don't come into this expecting meaty or deep or any strategy whatsoever. The only strategy in this game is, hey, there's the sight word. I'm going to slap it as fast as I can. And if I did, I get it. And if I didn't, I don't get it. It is a very simple game. I use the word game in a very loose tense. Uh, any other cons that I have with the game? No. I mean, moving on to the pros, do you have kids? Do you want them to learn their sight words better? This is a fun game to get. It has lots of sight words. They're double-sided. The components are nice. It's easy to learn. It's easy to teach. It's the kind of thing where you can play just one-on-one -on -one with a kid and just read the sight words and then have them slap it faster. Uh, I really like the fact that it's done in different ages as well, so you can kind of scaffold them a little bit, which is, is great. And as a teacher, this is a no-brainer. I'm going to take this into my classroom, and I'm going to use it. As a parent, this is a no-brainer. My kid plays with this, and it's going to help him develop uh, seeing his sight words and identifying them quicker, which is the entire point of this game. So this game succeeds, and if you have young children, get this game. It's just that simple. Great recommendation. If you don't have children, if you don't play with children, then obviously this is not going to be for you. It's just as simple as that. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, how much water do you drink on average a day? I've really been trying my best to start drinking a gallon of water a day. But man, it's really difficult, and I hate having to go to the bathroom all the time. I'd say without this, though, I'd probably drink like less than a cup or two a day. So uh, not very good. But how much water do you drink a day? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.